Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Australia. We'll show you what it's all about, and we'll give you something you've never seen before, you'll never see again, and you're going to talk about it in years to come. This is Tent Boxing. For three decades, Outback hero Fred Brophy has put on a show where anyone can take on a prize fighter. Tent boxing is Australia. Everyone that walks through the doors are part of it. And it is irrelevant whether they win. It's irrelevant whether they lose. They're there to go in a boxing tent. And that's what it's all about. It stops a lot of people fighting on the streets. But they all know that we're going to come to that town. Yeah, it's really good. But Fred's is the last tent boxing troupe left in the world, and his boxers take their work seriously. I'm very competitive and I like to win. I don't hold back at all. Just one final event stands between Fred and retirement, and it's going to be one to remember. This is a bit of history because this has never happened before. But once Fred packs it in, tent boxing will be lost forever. There's the winners, boys. And his troop of fighters will never be the same. Yeah. Yeah. Just take one, mate. Showman Fred Brophy is gearing up for the last stop on his final tour. The troop has already boxed in five outback Queensland towns, and the next, Birdsville, is the most remote of the lot. Birdsville's the big one of the year, and all the locals know us. They all love us to be there. They all respect us there. And everyone that goes to Birdsville races are there to have a good time. But after 32 years of touring the outback, this trip will be a bittersweet one. Well, over the years, Ned, I've, like, I've been going to the Birdsville races for a long time, and it's going to be good because I'm going to meet up and bore my old mates. But that'll be my last stand. It's a pity because tent boxing in Australia is the last of it. And when it goes, the part of Australia that's going to go. And that's very, very unfortunate. But um, that's life, I suppose. Originally settled in 1881 as a border post, Birdsville, population just 120, is the last frontier before the Simpson Desert. But for one weekend a year, around 6,000 revellers flood in for Outback Australia's biggest party event, the legendary Birdsville races, and they turn this town upside down. For Fred and his partner Sandy, the races have long been the most important date on the trip's calendar. Birdsville is probably the social event of the year for anyone with the boxing tent. It always has been. There's a new retreat for next year. It's just a chance for everyone to get out and spend quality time together, camping, sitting around the fire, laughing. For all the boys, it's their probably highlight of the year. But it's not all beer and skittles out here. There's work to be done. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Australia. That's what it's all about. Anyone that's game enough to put their hand up in the air, this is where you get up this ladder, providing you haven't had too much to drink. That's a bit of unique art, you know, as far as uh, showmanship goes. What do you do for a living? IT technician. An IT technician. Have you done any boxing before? None. Seen it on the computer, though. You've seen it on the computer. Good. Well, that is when I find out who they should fight and who they shouldn't fight. Hey, well, I tell you, what about the Barramundi kid? The little Barramundi kid that you can have him? Oh, he's the scariest one of them. Hang on, hang on. Well, you don't have to have him, you can have the bloke yeah, down the end. Kid. You want the end bloke down the end? I don't want any Tiny, like tiny kid. kid. You've got to match him up evenly, you know? That's very important. Hey, this bloke can fight. Get him down, James. Don't let him go. Shake his hands. He's going to fight him. 
The next member of the combination, ladies and gentlemen, the one and only bitch. It's 18-year-old Crystal's first trip to Birdsville, and she's raring to go. I started boxing when I was about 12. We got any shielders here? I've had six fights so far, six wins. Up the ladder, then. Get her over here. It has been a big build-up, Birdsville, and I've heard stories about what to expect. I'm a bit nervous, but... You know, I'll just go out there and give it my best. What is your name? I've seen you around that hotel over there before. Birdsville Beaver. Brett. The Birdsville Beaver. <laughs> good on you, baby. There you go. Give me a rally there. This is going to be good. I'm ready. I'm ready to fight. OK, now, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you here tonight. I know you've come a long way. I'll never forget my first bite. It was the biggest adrenaline rush she could ever feel, ever. It was amazing. I let her hit me three times because I knew that I could handle it and it just showed, you know, I'm a tough bitch. <laughs> Crystal is being trained by the best. Jimmy Shannon is a veteran of the Brophy boxing tent. He also happens to be Crystal's stepdad. Crystal did go through a phase where she did get into a lot of street fights. And when you're 13, you start sort of flexing your muscles a little bit, and she did get into a fair bit of trouble with fights. Uh, slip one. Hey, good work. Having all these fights with these humongous girls, I'm the one who always ends up in trouble in the back of the paddy wagon. Well, time will be quicker now. She can be a bit soft on the outside until you cross her. But once you cross Crystal, that's when the fighter in Crystal comes out. The birds will be back. Give her a rally. In my corner, we got the bitch. Go to the bitch! Now, I want a good clean fight. Now, without a belt and the kidneys behind the back and neck. I'd, I'd heard she'd clean clean. done a lot of boxing for four years or something like that, so I was pretty nervous. Yeah, I want to stay undefeated. I just sort of do switch into fighting mode. I just have to build up this tension and then let it out. Adrenaline's a drug for me. I'm pretty crazy. Round one, give me a breather. Thank you. Three, four good punches is better than 12 wasted ones. You're wasting them. She did have a strong punch, she did. The third one that she hit me rocks my world. My vision went black for one second, like black just came over my eyes and I couldn't see for one second. The adrenaline is pumping, I'm shaking. I don't feel any pain. My stepdad's yelling in the back of my ear saying, you know, keep your guard up or do this or do that, and I can't hear anything at all. I don't know, I just do whatever I gotta do to win. Crystal is a very smart boxer, but she tried the brawl of the first two rounds. She's going to have to learn her defensive techniques, but that only comes with experience, too. Yes, 
first loss. I don't think I lost though. <laughs> you never do like I won. No, I really don't. It's alright. I'll deal with it. I guess her next competitor is going to pay for it, but she's not going to want to lose again. So I feel sorry for the next one up against her. The Beaver, one fair and square. I said, sweetheart, I said, you can't win them all. I mean, you've learned something. When you lose, you learn how you lost, so you don't do it next time. So you learn something all the time. 